My name is Enzo Varalla. I have the honor of scuba time dive charter for uh, four years now, and uh, I'm definitely enjoyed this experience. As owner of uh, scuba time, I am able to cover almost all the position. So I'm running as a dive master, I'm running as a guide, and uh, uh, basically what I do, I make the uh, check-in for all the divers. I will uh, provide you with some uh, paperwork to do, some uh, releases that I need you to fill, and I will make sure that you uh, sign on the roster, on the boat roster. Dave Shoemaker, I'm one of the captains here on Scuba Time. Uh, I've been with Enzo basically since he took over the business, uh, going on almost four years. Some of my duties and responsibilities are the boat, actually driving to the dive sites, uh, giving conditions of the site once we get there, a little briefing on where we're at and what's going on, helping the divers back to the back of the boat and bringing them back to their seats correctly. My name's Amanda and I am the Dive Master on Scuba Time 3. I've been the Dive Master here about going on five years since 2006. My role as Dive Master is to assist the divers first thing in the morning with their gear on the boat. We carry all the tanks on board so they don't have to. While the divers are putting their gear together, I walk around and make sure everybody's doing everything right, all the gear is hooked up correctly, no BCDs are upside down or wetsuits are inside out. Usually we do a shipwreck. Um, whenever we do that, I have to take a line down. It's a chain connected to a line connected to a ball that floats on the surface. That line allows the scuba divers to have a safe descent from our boat to the shipwreck and then from the shipwreck back up to our boat. The second dive is a reef dive, so everybody, I give everybody a flag with a reel attached to it and they go down and we pick them up whenever they're done where they come up at. So they just drift, they don't have to navigate. While the divers are down on the drift dive, I help the captain keep an eye on the flags. I help them onboard the boat after the dive and back to their seats and bungeed in all safe and sound. Hi, my name is Pam. I'm interested in becoming a scuba diver and I'm about to go into the store to find out what I have to do to get certified. Hi. Hi. My name is Pam. I just saw your sign out front for a free scuba diving lessons. I'd like to know how I can sign up. Sure. Well, my name's John. I'm one of the instructors here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let's come over here and we'll, I'll give you the information. My name is John LaFleur and I'm the course director here at Scuba Network in Deerfield Beach, Florida. My role as a course director here at Scuba Network is I'm responsible for overseeing uh, training of our instructors, our in-house instructors, as well as signing students up for open water scuba classes and making sure that they're on the right path for their scuba education. One of the processes we do when we sign people up for our class is we take them through the paperwork sign up process. They go through a full agreement where they sign up and understand their responsibilities for taking the course with us as well as they go through a full medical history section to make sure that they're 100% healthy for taking the course. And then the second thing is they sign off on a liability release to make sure that they understand that they are responsible for themselves in the water during their training. After we get them signed up for the course, we actually take them through a step-by-step -step process in professionally fitting them for all their scuba gear. The first thing we start with is their masks. 
We want to make sure that they fit properly and that they're very comfortable, okay? And also that they have a really cool look while underwater. The second thing that they pick up is a snorkel. It's a required piece of safety equipment that straps to their mask so that they can conserve air while taking their scuba training. After that, we fit them for dive booties and dive fins. The fins are a very important piece of equipment because it propels the diver through the water so that they can move around the reef very freely and see all the tropical fish and all the tropical corals out there. Thank you so much for all your help. I'm looking forward to getting started. You're very welcome. Here's your book kit and everything. We'll see you next Great. week for class. Thank you so much. So I completed my online course and I'm here tonight to meet my instructor and classmates and to go over what I've learned online. My name's John Landris. I'm one of the dive instructors here at Scuba Network in Deerfield Beach. My role as the instructor is to ensure that the students have a safe, fun, enjoyable experience while they learn to get certified. The first part of the course will be doing our academic presentation where we do a series of lectures covering the physics and physiology and how pressure affects a diver in general. After we complete the lecture presentation, We'll also be moving on to the pool sessions where we learn about assembling the gear, getting comfortable in the water and familiar with how the gear works and why we use it in certain situations. Now once we complete all our pool sessions, we'll be moving on to our ocean checkout dives where we do a series of five dives. We'll be doing a variety of different skills and concepts off of the beach where we learn how to do beach entries and we also get into all our neutral buoyancy techniques and we'll be diving a little bit on the coral reef off the beach. After the beach dive, we'll be moving on to our boat dives where it's more of like the luxury restaurant style of diving where the dive master ties into the shipwrecks for us. We get to go down a nice line and dive a, a wreck that's part of the artificial reef program here in South Florida. After the first dive, we'll be coming up for our surface interval where we switch over our gear, take our tanks and prep them for the next dive. We'll go through all our buddy checks to ensure that we have a nice safe dive and everything's hooked up properly and working correctly. After the surface interval, we'll be gearing up for our second dive. This dive is called drift diving. It's similar to a limo service where you get in the water, go do what you want, go with the current, drift a little while and hang out, enjoy the scenery. And then when we come up the line, the boat's waiting right there for us. So there's no waiting or following or having to navigate back to a, an anchor line. After the party on the boat, we'll be coming back here to the store to finish our log books as well as work on the registration process to receive our certification cards. At the end of the day, it's a big congratulations, a nice pat on the back, and come dive and hope to see you soon type deal. Now that the pool training is complete, Pam and her fellow students arrive at the beach for the first in a series of checkout dives. Everyone gets a briefing on the dive site from the instructor, then the students begin to assemble their gear and head down to the water's edge, where after a final briefing from their instructor on the upcoming dives, the class heads out to the dive site. During these dives, the students show their recently acquired skills to the instructor, who evaluates their progress.
After successfully passing their beach checkout dives, the students do their final dives aboard Scuba Time 3, where they get to experience more of the underwater world enjoyed by divers all over. For the crew of Scuba Time 3, it has been another successful day on the ocean.